I was raised up until I was five years old uh, in, I can't say in the project because I don't know that for certain, but I was raised under certain precepts of abuse and programming in order to get me to where I could be selected for the program, for the project. I was selected at the age of five by a man named Alex Houston. We did a test um, for disassociation, uh, it, would I disassociate? And that test was performed by Alex Houston out at my grandparents' house. My grandfather knew Alex Houston. And so I was selected for the project when I was five. And then I was really what I would say initiated into the program, the project, when I was six. I was taken to the human bioprogramming, monarch programming facility in Southern California, in Anaheim, at Disneyland. Disneyland's not what a lot of people think it is. It's the opposite. It, it presents this scene of beautiful joy and color and a wonderful experience, but they're doing things there that are evil, dark, and just unacceptable illegal unconstitutional they're committing murder there they're putting a lot of folks through trauma-based mind control programming there and so it takes place on the rides there's lots of triggers on the rides themselves for mind slaves and then uh, a lot of times we'd be taken off the rides, john and so then you'd be taken under the park uh, through the tunnel system to various rooms where you'd be made to do different things. It may include such things as being made to make porn, kitty porn. It was all time. It was really fast. And so you'd be taken off of a ride, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, and you'd be taken under the park. And there was a process to it. They'd start you at one and you'd go through a process of several different rides in that day or in that trip that you'd be taken off of and be put through programming. My grandfather was often there. He was heavily involved with the trauma-based mind control program. Uh, my grandfather uh, worked with Walt Disney on establishing the mind control program there in the park. Mm -hmm. And so there were spaces in the park that my grandfather would develop for the agency that Walt would give to the agency for use for these things. And so, wow. So are we say, would this be happening at a time when it was open to the general public or would this be like off the off hours? Uh, both, both, both. It, would, it would be both. And so it, when you were taken off of a ride, it would be made to look like the ride just broke down. Yeah. The ride would shut down, uh, it would just stop, but it would stop in the key location where you were gonna be taken out of the car and taken down into the tunnel system. Uh, for example, on the Alice in Wonderland ride, I can remember Alice being there. We were on the Alice in Wonderland ride and it stopped and it stopped right at the, right at the smoking caterpillar. Hmm right there and then to the right to the left is the smoking caterpillar but to the right is the statue of alice from alice in wonderland alice in wonderland is used a lot see a lot of cartoons and stuff from disney are used for monarch programming alice in wonderland was a big one for me and so alice the figure there's this statue of her right there to the right of the caterpillar on the right and there was a girl there this girl, she was familiar to me. Oftentimes there'd be a girl named Alice. And sometimes it was a different girl. Sometimes it was the same one for a couple of years. And yeah, sometimes some bad shit would happen in there. But it, this girl, Alice, would be there. And one time in particular, I remember her holding the statue of Alice and um asking me if she wasn't more beautiful than the statue and then i got off of the ride i was taken off of the ride taken with alice we went down into the tunnel system another time i was taken off of the peter pan ride it was just made to look like it broke down 
and I was taken off of the Peter Pan ride by these two young people who were dressed up in NASA outfits. They had on some one piece suits and ball caps that said NASA on them. And we were taken uh, down to a room there. It's in the, it's in the ship somewhere near and in the ship, there's a ship scene there in Disneyland. And we were taken under that and made to make pornography. I was made to make pornography with those two young people. And it's really quick. So they make it look like the ride broke down. Mm -hmm. And you're always separated out, John, in the cars. And so whenever I'd be getting on a ride that I was going to be programmed on, they would separate cars. So my brother and sister, for example, would get on. And then they would go. And mm -hmm. then they'd move a couple cars past and then they'd put me and my father or me and my father and my younger brother on the car and then we would go and so they create a distance from you from the other people riding the ride break down you'd be taken under the park you'd be put through this programming and then you'd be hit with a taser that's one of the common ways of compartmentalizing your memory is a handheld taser I can remember getting hit with that damn thing from the time I was six years old. And then you'd also be hypnotized. Hypnosis is a big part of it. Uh, they'll hypnotize you to remember to forget those events mm -hmm. and then uh, hit you with a taser and then send you back up. Uh, hey, you also had individuals that were held there. There's human trafficking that takes place there. So you mentioned kidnapping. Yeah. I, I never witnessed to my knowledge or my recollection, yeah. anyone in the tunnels, but I did, I was taken to a room when I was six years old mm. off of a ride. It was the wild toad ride. And I was taken down into the tunnels and taken to a room. My grandfather was there. Like I said, he was heavily involved with this stuff. He would often meet us there and he would play different roles. He'd play the Mad Hatter, uh, different things like that. Captain, the captain, that's that's something else uh, from Peter Pan. And he would play those roles and he'd dress up in costumes for it. Well, when I was six, I was taken down there and there was this room I was taken to where there was, uh, it was filled with cages, much like you would see at a zoo or something. And in those cages were children and those children were held there. They'd been abducted in some way, and they were held there, and they were being put through some extreme trauma, and they would they were disposable. They would be, be used uh, for programming of the people like me who were being brought down there, and so we'd be made to kill them.